What's up guys? I'm going to talk to you today about my Yeti bucket. I've been working on this for a while, wanting to do this. Put together kind of an emergency travel tool kit. Got a little bit of everything to throw in the car, old car when we drive it. Something to not necessarily break, fix everything that breaks down, but at least get you off the side of the road. Get you somewhere where you can get what you need. Uh, Taking the woods side by side. Love the Yeti bucket idea. It's a little big for some, but most of the time it's going to fit in the back of the trunk of any car. What I got, first off, let's talk about what's inside. So, basic, little uh, six in one, so to speak. It's got you know, all your flathead bits, Phillips heads, weird bits you would need. Keep that inside. Little gripper tool, get little fingers on it. Never know what you're gonna drop on the side of the road or have to get. I have got paracord. Without it, first pack of zip ties, got a bigger pack in the side compartment here. Basic test slot, checking power, trying to diagnose, be crucial on the side of the road. We've got just some basic fuses. We're uh, going to be driving an AT and the old stock glass AGCs, got minis, maxis. And then put in here also box with a bit, but I've got a half inch drive, ratchet set, metric in standard. Uh, what is something big enough, you know, if we have to change the alternator or tear into the brakes or something crazy, get some bigger stuff. Uh, my box will fit, so I'm gonna put this in a little bag or something to put in here. Then you've got your tray in here right now. Got some basic pliers, vice grips. Up joint, some needle nose vice grips, other pliers, got an adjustable, that's what we got. Needle nose, cutters, all around the side here. It's a big flashlight, a couple little cheapy flashlights. We got another. Quarter inch drive socket set for your small stuff. Got a, got a spear on a pole. I've also got a magnet on the pole. Again, it's hard to see stuff dropping stuff. Hammer, just because you never know when you're going to get a hammer. And a couple extra screwdrivers. In case you need an actual screwdriver to fix them when work. Most importantly, y'all should have this and everything. Something to throw fire out with. I am more trying to keep a fire extinguisher and everything. These are just the quick ones. Um, something you can have all the time with you. If you ever caught a hot car on fire on the side of the road, you know the importance of this. And I don't preach it enough or do it enough, but guys, keep a fire extinguisher in your car. Alright, so throwing that in there. Oh, almost forgot. WD-40, never know. So in the middle, we've got a nice handle this bucket. Probably 40 pounds, but it picks up easy with the handle. Sturdy handle on the Eddie bucket. Got room for some more stuff. Um, things I haven't added that I want to. Uh, I got electrical tape, I got some duct tape, of course. I've got some, just some basic, uh, keep a couple rolls of wire. A little pack of basic wire connectors I gotta get to put in here. Um, and we can some sandpaper. We found that recently on two different things, a car and a tractor. Here you're gonna need a pile of points, for those of y'all don't know what that still is. So I'm gonna put a little piece of sandpaper in here. And then leave some room to add to it as I go. You know, what do I need on the road, what I run into I didn't have. I'm sure there'll be stuff, but going to get out there, show it to you. We're gonna try it on power tour and uh, see how we like it. So got your old Yeti bucket or ideas on how you what you carry leave it in the comments you got a video of your own put in the comments we'd like to check it out hit that like button subscribe y'all be pretty we'll see it but wait there's more got to thinking i need to show you the rest of what i was putting in here added a few things for power tour to the old yeti got our wrenches basic metric 
Got our wrenches, basic metric standard set, on carabiners, a couple extra carabiners, some small zip ties, never have too many. Got this set, I really like that Craftsman set, so I didn't want to break it up. Just a cheap Walmart set, but something with some bigger stuff if we need it. I'm actually gonna take this apart and just put it in here. Couldn't find anything that really made me happy storing it down below. Got some basic gloves, in case you have to grab something that's hot. Starter, alternator, spark plug wire, whatever. First aid kit for when those cheap gloves don't work and you burn it out of yourself. Some basic wire, um, you know, 12 gauge. You can splice it into anything, not too big, not too small. Wiring kit, electrical tape. This stuff is supposedly awesome, self-fusing, silicone tape. I watched a guy patch a radiator hose one time at work that was pouring with this and make it home, so. Never know. That in the duct tape, we can fix anything. Super glue, Gorilla Epoxy, and a radiator hose repair kit, a couple of clamps, just emergency stuff. So that's the rest of it. That's going in the bucket. I'm sure we'll have everything but what we need. Hopefully, we don't need anything on Power Tour, but like I said, drop a comment below for what you're using your Yeti bucket with. If you got a video you want to check out, leave a link. We'll do it. We'll share it on our social media, get some other people some ideas. So. Hit that like button, subscribe. Y'all be pretty.